Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. did you know that uh, they, in 2020, at the Olympics, they didn't let the athletes be intimate with each other? Did you know that? <laughs> there, there was an intimacy ban because of COVID. Yeah, that was the that was the same year where they made like the uh, those uncomfortable beds too, right? I don't know what I is believe, that. Yeah, they had like the really uncomfortable like one man single person beds, so they couldn't have coitus. I mean, it just didn't facilitate it too well. You know, uncomfortable beds suck to have. You know, <laughs> especially when you're competing at the highest level possible. You know, yeah. you know, like oh hey, I got to run for my country to, against other countries tomorrow. Let's sleep on a rock tonight. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Um, it, you know, it's probably a good idea. I bet you them athletes are just banging each other like wild. Oh uh, yeah, you get a bunch of like hot young athletes just out everybody's here. Everybody's in shape, so it's just like yeah. Everyone's just like, oh, let's touch bodies. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this year they've let's lifted the ban. Bodies. Let's touch bodies. So they've lifted the ban. Awesome. And they expect. 14,250 residents at the Olympic Village this year. So guess how many condoms they've announced they're going to have available for them. What are we even talking? This podcast has become something. Let's go. Answer the question. I want to know, but whoa. No ditty. All right, let's go. 300,000 condoms. <laughs> what? There's not that many dicks. It's a, that's 21 <laughs> condoms it's, per resident. It's too many. It's not enough. They must be out it's here too just many. slamming. Bro, I mean. If I was an athlete, I'd be slamming. I don't know what that, but wait a minute, what? <laughs> if I was an athlete? Why do you gotta be an athlete to, to do the do? Because people want to slam. To do the, you don't have to be an athlete to have sex, my man. You don't have to but do that. It, you have it more helps. sex. It helps. You have more sex if you're an athlete. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, just like you know your uh, cardiovascular system. Yeah. You, if you were like, if you were the fastest man in the world, people want to fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Goals. <laughs> Goals. I'm going to be the new uh, fastest man in the world. I don't like the tone of your voice when you even said that. <laughs> man. Was, what are you talking about? The tone of my voice. It was weird, right? Am I wrong? I don't think so. Right, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Maybe, Maybe I'm wrong. so forceful. No, you... you're probably right, though. You're probably, if you have, like, but if everybody around you has that same degree of talent, then you're not necessarily in a group where like you're the you're the aberration, you're the abnormal, you're in a group of your peers. You don't stand out. Yeah, you're you're like, but uh, being amongst a group of your peers is kind of the same thing. You're all going through this uh, this traumatic event, and you have like that kind of like that bonding is over it this. traumatic. Absolutely, the Olympics is traumatic. It's competition. That's so the highest no, level. So it's like bro. stressful. It's not traumatic. Yeah, you know. I mean, if some you people lose, break down and quit. If you lose, you've been training for this your whole life, and you lose. That's some trauma. Yeah, and he's like, you know what I could use right now, girl. Yep. <laughs> A little something, something. You know. I, I came in fourth in the shot put. She's like, I came in fourth. In the hurdles. So how about you take a shot putting, you know? Yeah, shot putting hurdling me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Played right into that I love one. It. I loved I it. Love yeah, yeah. I, I know you hated every second. No, I loved it. I did. I, honestly, I loved <laughs> so, it. So, yeah, dude. I don't know. Was, like That was funny. I just can't imagine what it's like at the Olympic Village. Uh, I don't it's like know. A, it's probably just like a... It's like a debaucherous, like, just like, just sweat and orgy. I'm going to say is that here, my imagination is, is that when you have athletic men who complete, who compete at the highest level in their events, that you're going to have a lot of egos. Oh God. Yeah. So, a bunch of chads walking around. Hmm? A bunch of chads just peacocking. Everywhere, just like who can who can show like they got a bigger ego. Yeah, so I mean, you're gonna have a lot of those those guys walking around, and then when it comes to the women, I figure that they're gonna have like the women who take care of their bodies in that sense. They're gonna be like, I want a certain type of guy. 
right? You know, yeah. He's got, and all of these guys are fitting that list. They're hitting. It feels like a lot of just like type A, just like aggressive. Like she's like, I want a twelve pack. Yeah, like the men are aggressive, the women are aggressive. They all got like HGH running through their system. Yeah, they're all hopped up on couch yeah. proteins. So I just imagine they're they're just yeah, they out here just mm. just getting in there and just going. They each need twenty one condoms a person. Yeah, yeah. Every that's like it's only there for a week. It's like three a day. Exactly. <laughs> They're out there just cleansing three times yeah. a day, dude. It's like She Hulk and Wolverine. <laughs> like it's like sh- Superman banging Lois Lane. Like two wild cats in a plastic bag. Yeah, just... <laughs> two two pigs fighting over milk duds. Yeah, you know whatever the like, euphemism is. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like two <laughs> raccoons in a cardboard box. It's like a. A pineapple with a core gone. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It's like two avocados uh, <laughs> thrown in a pillowcase. <laughs> it's like jamming your fingers in. Oh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> we, well, we can keep it going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what I see, and and I don't think that's too far from the truth, man. I mean, if you look at other like just like iterations of like the whole sports thing basketball players you get a bunch of basketball players you get a bunch of football players you get a bunch of baseball players guys who are making big money in these rooms and compete at their sports at a high level right all you're really taking out with the olympics is that these guys aren't making like tons of money but some of them are getting endorsements yeah they're getting paid with sex yeah and then in the land of competition if you're that guy then you're like that you just kid. won the gold medal like all the oh. girls are just like oh my god he just michael phelps <laughs> Michael Phelps won 17 gold medals at the Olympics. How much dust was Michael Phelps getting when he won all the goddamn Olympic medals? How much? He used 300,000 condoms himself. Bro, bro, he, exactly. I'm sure that Michael Phelps was getting so much, so much tang that his his dick is like a nubbed off eraser. It's just like, it's just a, it's it should be. It should. No, listen. It should be. Somebody needs to be Essen Michael Phelps' D right now. I'm telling you right now. Young lady, it's if you're like not. 10 years since he's done anything. I don't care. He won all them day. American so gold Caitlyn medals. So Jenner. Somebody should be. <laughs> I was waiting to see. Somebody, somebody should be doing something to uh, her, too. Pleasing her, too. Yes. I don't know what's going on, okay, but somebody should be should pleasing, be pleasing her. Jenner, too. Yes. Exactly. Everyone deserves the pleasing. Yes. 100%. Every gold medalist. If you know a gold medalist, take care of them. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want that to mean. I got a gold medal in choir. Did, did you? <laughs> Got a, a gold. Did. How did you get a gold medal in choir? Because I was singing in it, man. Feels like an angel. The lips of an angel on Is that the that song about you? What's yeah? It might be. It might be. Yeah. I never know what Seal's Kendra, capable of. Kendra stole your song. Kendra or Seal, both of them. Kendra? I don't know who you're talking. To. I don't know what Kendra, song. Kendra, lips of an angel. That's what you were just singing. I don't know that song. <laughs> I've never heard that song about. What were you just singing? I was thinking of uh, Seal Jonas. Oh, Kiss this. from a Rose? Yeah, I don't know. You're mixing up old 90s bands and... that you didn't know even existed. Yeah, we ain't got to be perfect here. We, just... I, we are truth, not facts. We just come here and we, we, drop, we drop deuce on the mic and then we, we, we drop dip out. deuce. <laughs> you better not put any deuce on, my, on the microphones that I have in this house. You drop deuces right here on the microphones and we dip. Yeah, we'll dip it out, deuce it out the dips. So, uh, yeah, put in the comments how many condoms you think they need at the Olympics. I think that would be a nice turning point. Uh, But for Jonas, TNT, uh, we're out.